Hi guys, Sydney here and I'm a unique presenter and I'm going to show you how I get the big lashes from the 3D Fiber Plus Mascara. Okay, so I've done one eye for you and I'm going to show you how I get that look. So, first thing that I do, which is probably a little strange, um, is I use my eyelash curler. Well, that's not the strange part, but what I do is I actually heat it up with my hair dryer. So, I do about five seconds per side of the eyelash curler with my hair dryer on either high or medium heat. And I test to make sure that it's not too hot, and it's not because I use medium heat on mine, and just curl your eyelashes. Make sure you get all those eyelashes in, even the little small ones on the corner, and hold for about five seconds. Voila, that easy. Okay, and I actually just opened a brand new box of my 3D Fiber Plus Mascara. It comes in a little case like this, the two tubes, both of them, a little case like this which is good for traveling and then when it's done it's actually really good to use for like pens in case they explode they're in a case um or even tampons i mean nobody has to know what's in there it looks like mascara could just be going to the bathroom powder your nose i never have to know all right and it also comes with a little instruction manual on how to apply the mascara but you don't need that because you got me all right so what i'm gonna do it calls to uh it says to put on a base coat of your mascara which i usually do sometimes i'll put on a cheap coat of like Maybelline, or even have this really old mascara that I was using before I found Unique. It's pretty dried up though, but put a squirt of Unique's rose water in it. And honestly, you get a whole nother month out of your mascara. I use the 3D Fiber Plus mascara every single day, and I run out of it a lot faster than most people do. So I did a squirt of my rose water in the transplanting gel. I kid you not, I got a whole nother month out of my mascara. It was pretty amazing. Okay, so first things first the gel. This is the transplanting gel with the clear tube in the front to show you how much gel you have left. So obviously this one's nice and full. And it has the most amazing wand. It not only has that small tip so you can get those little lashes, you know, on the insides, but it has a bigger end so that way when you get on the outside of your lashes, it kind of helps to flare them out. So for the purpose of this video, I am not going to use a base coat just because I can I want to show you how amazing this mascara is. And I also obviously just did my dominant eye, so this is going to be a little bit trickier. So um, hang in there with me. Oh, and don't mind, mind the clothes in the background. I uh, ran out of closet space. What's a girl to do? Got to get a clothes rack. Okay, so <clears throat> let's apply the gel. So I like to make sure that I get a good coating of this gel all over my lashes. Because if you think about it, this is the glue that is going to hold those fibers in place. This is what they're going to stick to. All right, let's flare out those ends. Going nice and slow as to not get any mascara on my lid, which I always do. It's just I think that's why I have to wear eyeshadow most of the time because unfortunately it gets covered in mascara. But when it does, just take one of your Unique Beauty Blending Buds and just dab where the mascara is because they're still moist from using them. Gets it off every time. All right, so let's just finish this gel. And I always like to make my first coat because this is your base coat. This is you are setting the foundation for your lashes. So this is kind of the most important coat, in my opinion. I think everyone kind of has found what works best for them for applying the mascara, and this is just what works best for me. Now we apply the fibers. You can see those green tea fibers in this tube, and this is such a full tube. I just opened it, and I actually can't get the wand back in because there's so many fibers. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there. I might be applying more than one uh, one coat today. But you know what? Too much, too many fibers is not a bad thing. I will take that problem any day. All right. So now that our fibers are still wet, or the gel is still wet on our eyes. I like to just kind of do that at the end of the wand to get all the fibers that are close to the end so they don't fall off. If they do fall off, no big deal. I always have a little bit of fall off just because 
I like to put a lot of these fibers on. So naturally, some are just not going to stick to the gel. And when that happens, we just brush them off with a makeup brush. So, okay, you can see that that, uh, you can see that those fibers are just making my eyelashes grow right before your eyes. I'm gonna just brush off a couple of those fibers. Fantastic. Okay, look at that. Look at those lashes, this is one coat. All right, now we have to seal it in with the gel. Seal those. Fibers in. There you go. Look at that. Look at those lashes. I mean, you guys saw what I had before or what I was working with. Not a lot. And yes, I did. I got a little bit more mascara. On my lid, take your beauty blending bud. Buff that out. Awesome. All right. Now I completely forgot about my bottom lashes because I was too concerned with my top lashes. So now I'm gonna go in and do my bottom lashes and then I'm gonna do a second coat on top of this so you can see what two coats of the 3D Fiber Plus mascara looks like. And the best part about this mascara is that it's buildable. So do one coat for the morning, you know, go to work, do your thing, and then before you go out at night, throw on two more coats. Girl, you're gonna be looking good. Okay, so let's do the bottom lashes. I don't do any of the fibers on my bottom lashes just because I don't want to have buku eyelashes all the way out to my glasses because most of the time I wear glasses and so if my lashes are too big unfortunately they keep hitting the lens and my bottom lashes I just tend to rub my eyes a little bit more which is not a good thing don't do that. All right, just a little bit on the bottom. I don't want to get it in my hair because somehow I always get mascara in my hair. This gel is just, it's amazing just as mascara. And the mascara actually has the Uplift Eye Serum in it. So that is why your lashes stay up, they stay curled, they don't fall down, giving you that falsy eyelash look. All right, so now let's go in for our second coat. So you wanna remember to really get the gel on this brush because you wanna really coat up your lashes, okay. Coat number two. Oh, sorry, probably can't see. All right, so now we've got on the gel. <laughs> More of these fibers that I can't get my wand in the tube. That's okay. I'm loving that problem. And the one thing that I've noticed too about this mascara is sometimes when I put it on for my second coat especially, it looks a little bit clumpy. And then I run my wand through to smooth it out. And even sometimes then it does appear to have a little bit of clumps. But what I've noticed is after about five to 10 minutes, somehow, and I don't know if it's because I've ah, got mascara in my hair. I don't know if it's because it's the mineral-based mascara or just because it's natural. It kind of seems to settle and those clumps just kind of go away and all of a sudden my eyelashes just look amazing. So, okay, yeah, hello. Coat number two. Eyelashes almost... These eyelashes are almost touching my eyebrows. Almost touching my eyebrows. And you saw I only had to curl them one time. I know girls, well... I used to be one of those girls that would put the uh, mascara on my eyelashes 
then curl because no matter what, it just couldn't, they wouldn't stay curled. And so the mascara would kind of use, I would use it as like a, like a whole, like a hairspray for my eyelashes essentially. And I would put the curler on top of it. It would stick to my eyelashes. It would rip some of them out. So then on my eyelash curler, I would see eyelashes. And as we all know, we need as many of those as we can get, especially older that we get. Oh, they just seem to get smaller. Um, so yeah, so I, I had to stop doing that. So then I stopped using the eyelash curler for a long time, but I just love the way that when I curl them, it just gives them a little, a little oomph because my eyelashes do not really curl naturally. They kind of stick straight out and oop, got a fiber. Got it. Back on my brush. And again, don't worry if there's a little bit of fallout. You can brush that away. All right, let's seal our second coat in with the gel. Now watch me gel. Now watch me fiber. Watch me gel. Watch me fiber. Sing that if you need to, to remember. I heard that while watching some of those YouTube videos on how to apply the mascara myself when I first got it. Because it definitely does. It definitely takes getting used to and it definitely takes getting the hang of. Okay, all right. That is our two coats of our 3D Fiber Plus Mascara. Bam, bam. And you saw my eyelashes before. They were teeny and they were sad. Not, not anymore. Oh. And I feel like my camera never does it justice. When I look in the mirror, they look so much bigger. And in my camera, I feel like they don't look that big. So I'm gonna have to take a picture to prove it to you. But that's how I apply my 3D Fiber Plus Mascara and if you have any questions, message me on Facebook, Sydney Lefevre. Feel free to message me anytime. I will get back to you. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks so much, guys.